Hey everyone, this is Chris in Cheyenne with CF Living Outdoors 1105. Uh, excuse the way we look and everything. We just came back from walking out in the field and trying some stuff out. And I wanted to give y'all a little bit of review on a couple of knives and some survival bracelets and everything that we have. Uh, first off, uh, the survival bracelets, uh, they come from uh, the Atomic Bear. And as you can tell, I had to take one apart to try it out. And before they were like, look just like this. Just a bunch of paracord has an adjustment right here on it where you can adjust it to fit your uh, wrist size, uh, whatever you whatever you need it for. And I mean, yes, it is a, a good little bracelet. I mean, cause it, like I said, it has paracord. It has a little, little fire starter deal on it right here. It has a little compass. And if you unclip it, it has a little bitty ferrule rod right in here. And the little scraper for the ferrule rod is right there. Little bitty scraper for it. And it does spark, but it does not throw out uh, a good shower of sparks like uh, I prefer. And also it has a little, uh, little whistle on it. So when you got it on your wrist, you can, and I mean, it, it's, it's suitable for what it is, but the problem that I have with it besides the uh, ferrule rod that it comes with is the amount of paracord that it comes. And I mean, as you can tell, mine was orange, orange and black, Shai's is black. But the thing is, it's separated into different pieces. And I tied these together because we had the time together to use them for what we were doing. But each piece is only about 18 to 24 inches long. And it's, it's enough paracord to tie something together if need be, but for like what we were doing, we had to tie them all together to get a piece long enough for what we needed. I mean, and when you look at it, I mean, you would think that it would be one piece because it's got this loop here and everything, but it's actually three or four different little pieces of paracord that's woven together to make a bracelet. But, I mean, it will get you out of a pinch if need be, as long as you don't need that much paracord. And, I mean, you do have a way to start a fire, but it's gonna be kind of hard because it doesn't shower sparks like it needs to. But it, it, will, it will suffice for what it is. And uh, these, I think I got both of them on Amazon for like uh, 10, 10 bucks, something like that. And Chai Chai, she loves wearing hers around all the time. So, but that's those. Um, the two knives that I have, I mean, I've, sh I've showed you one of them before, and it was the Ned Frost, uh, Ned Foss uh, Heinous. And uh, very beautiful, beautiful knife. I mean, you got, a, you got a blade that's almost five inches and everything, total length's about nine inches. It has a very, very wide, full tang on it. So that's one real good thing I like about this. And it has the uh, textured grip and everything on it. And it comes with the Kitek uh, sheath, which I love. And uh, it has a little belt clip back here to where you can wear it either straight up and down or you can wear it horizontal if need be, however you prefer to wear your knife. And to put it on your belt, you have a little latch back here that you just flip up and then you squeeze this together and it opens up. And then you run your belt through it and then you click it back down and then flip this back up and it's on your belt. I mean, it comes with a, with a ferro rod, with a ferro seam rod. I mean, a pretty decent sized one. And I mean, I, I've used it and everything, as you can tell right there, I've used it a couple of times and it does throw out a good shower of sparks as long as you have a decent sized knife to spark it with. And one thing I like about it, it has like an elastic string right here on it to where it latches underneath and that way it does not come out. But uh, we were trying this knife out and this other one and um, I have to say, I'm very, very impressed with it. I mean, cause again, I got big bear paws and I mean, it's got a good size handle on it where it fits good in my hands. And I mean, it's razor sharp. I mean, razor, razor sharp. And I mean, it's a, you could classify it as a brush craft knife, but to me, it's more of like a small hunter or a skinning knife prefer, uh, personally. But it does come with a, a little bit of paracord for the lanyard and everything on it. It comes with a cleaning cloth and everything in the box plus instructions. 
And I like it because it, when it goes into the to your sheath, I mean, I don't know if you heard it, but it, it clicks. So, I mean, it, it, it takes a lot of, to get it out of there. So, I mean, we were walking around out there for a few hours and never had trouble with it coming out or turning on me or nothing. So, I mean, I highly, highly recommend this. And this one was gotten off of Amazon. It was like 36 bucks. And I mean, they have several different type knives. I mean, you can get the same knife with different type handle. You just, whatever your personal choice is, I happen to love the black and blue. So, I mean, I highly, highly recommend this knife as a uh, carry knife. So, I mean, it's a very good knife. The other knife that I got, I just received not too long ago, that is this one. This is the Ned Foss uh, Kakuri. It is more of a survival type knife or a brush carafe knife. And it comes with a real nice uh, leather sheath with it. And I mean, it's got a, a generous belt loop right here for it, for you to put it on your belt and everything. I mean, it's got single stitching. Uh, so the only thing I could see that might be wrong with it is you might want to get some uh, leather thread and uh, just put a couple extra stitches here and here. But I mean, the snaps on it's real, real good. You can turn it whichever way you need. And I mean, it, it hangs on your side real well. And the knife itself, I mean, we were cutting, I was cutting limbs with it. I was cutting small uh, tree branches with it and everything because we built a little fire and stuff. And uh, I mean, it works great. It's got the, the curvature of the blade right here, which makes it a uh, Kakuri. I mean, it's not as dramatic as some of the other ones with that curvature right there, which I love the way this one is done. And I mean, it's a very, very thick blade and it's full tang as well, all the way up full tang and total length on this knife, it's uh, 11 inches. And I mean, it is razor, razor sharp. And I mean, just to show y'all that I was using it, I don't know if you can see it on the blade right here, the scuffs and stuff on it, but that's from us using it down there. And I mean, I got big paws and I mean, you can see how far, how much bigger on my hand it is. And we'll compare it to this one. I mean, side by side, I mean, <laughs> it's, considerably bigger. So that's why I would consider this one more of a brush craft uh, knife and a small hunter or good size hunter knife. And it has a lanyard on it that's with a paracord again. Only thing is if you take that apart, it's gonna be fun trying to get it back unless you're an expert at doing uh, rapid paracord. But um, this one uh, got it off of Amazon as well and off of the, the Ned Foss uh, site store on there. And it was like uh, 42, 43 bucks. So, I mean, it was real, real good, real good deal. And it's got some weight, which is what I love because when you're sitting there chopping things with it and everything, I mean, it'll help you cut through it. And with it being as wide as it is, I mean, you can take it and you can baton with it. You can uh, split small logs with it to make firewood or kindling and everything for your camp. Uh, it's got the uh, composite grip on it which I wish it had the same type as this one did. But I mean, it still feels real good in the hand. I mean, it's well, well balanced. I mean, well balanced knife. I mean, right there's on one finger. I mean, it's, it's well balanced. So, I mean, I very, very highly, highly recommend uh, these Ned Foss knives. I mean, I'm new to them. I just discovered them a few weeks ago and uh, they are, in my opinion, real high quality because I love a knife that has a big full tang like that. I mean, that's that's over a quarter, almost a quarter of an inch thick. And it's just real good craftsman, uh, craftsmanship to it and everything. The only thing is, like I said, the, the, the sheet, you might want to put a couple more little stitches right up here on the top of it and everything. But I mean, it, it worked great for uh, what my daughter and I were doing. So these two knives, Ned, Fro Ned Foss, I mean, go on to Amazon or you can go to their website. Uh, their website is uh, www.nedfossknife.de. So, I mean, you can go directly on to their, to their site. I mean, on this side, it's uh, nedfossknife.com. I don't know if y'all can see that right there, but uh, you can go onto their website and see all their knives that they have 
and you'll see these two on there and i highly highly recommend them i mean because for survival bush uh, bushcraft i mean uh, you couldn't couldn't ask for any better i mean in my opinion because like i said they're real real well built real uh wide tines on them and i mean you look at this one i mean it just runs straight all the way down. I mean, it's thick all the way down until it starts narrowing to the point. I mean, you couldn't oh, ask for. Oh, this has wire too. Yeah, yeah. It, it also it. it also has the paracord. Not as much as this one, but it but it still has some on there. I mean, that's probably two, maybe three foot right there. This one you probably got about about ten foot on. And I mean, I I couldn't ask for any better on on bush knives. I mean, this this one. I mean. It'd be good, like everyday carry, one that you can carry like hunting with you or whatever. I mean, so my opinion, you need to check out Mad Foss. I mean, they they seem to have some real, real good knives, which I'm gonna uh, check into some more of them and that and see what I can get and possibly get one for my daughter and everything if I can find one that she likes and everything. So uh, again, this is Chris and Cheyenne. Where would see up living outdoors 1105. Wanna wish y'all a very blessed day and y'all have a wonderful weekend. Thank you all very much. Bye-bye.